Once upon a time, long, long ago, a messenger had a very important message for King Grammar. <sighs> I have a message. From whom, kind messenger? Yes, I... I can see why that would be important to know. Back shortly. I have a message from the Queen. The Queen is walking. Walking where? Before you leave, I have some advice that might uh, help. But the messenger had already left. Excuse me, kind messenger. Before you tire yourself more, there's something you should know. <sighs> I'm all ears. Sometimes a sentence with only a noun and a verb doesn't give us as much information as we want or need. <sighs> Tell me about it. So, <sighs> if I said, the messenger runs, a word like to would give us a little more information, like where the messenger is going. The messenger runs to the queen. Yes, that's it. Or instead of saying the king rode, you could add a little more information by saying the king rode under the branch. The king jumps over the fence. The king stood on his horse. Ta-da! Whoa! Whoa! <coughs> the king fell off his horse. Ooh. Huh. <sighs> These words really are useful. Yes, very. When we want to tell more about where something happened, we can use words like to, from, on, off, over, and under. <gasps> Duck! The duck walks on the path. The word on tells us where the duck walks. Somebody must be talking about prepositions on their horse again. Well, hello, dear. Prepositions? That's what words like to, from, on, off, over, and under are called. Prepositions. You're always quite helpful, my king. And that is how the king's messenger learned about prepositions. Something he would surely always remember. <laughs> Duck! Where? <laughs> the messenger fell off the horse. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Bye, everyone. See you later.